and this is my story of what happened on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, June 19, 2021. And I looked over to the bank and the uh, creek bed and I noticed the creek was raging. And I've been through two floods before, uh, one in 91 and one last year in 2012, and I knew that we were in for some uh, serious flooding. You could see this movement and it was waves. I mean, the violence of the water just took your breath away. And that image will always remain with me. Um, and I uh, got a couple pictures of it, and it was. It was uh, roaring brown water, still quite low, but it was starting to eat out that far bank on the other side. Uh, we uh, were a little worried. Um, we'd never quite seen it that high. And I realized uh, at about noon on Friday morning, that our house was in jeopardy, was in peril, and I even said goodbye to it. And it ended up that we came back up to the house on Friday specifically, and we really thought the house would be gone. Seven o'clock in the morning after uh, we were evacuated, or shortly after seven, I wandered back up to the bridge up here and uh, to get some pictures and looked down and I could just see our trees peeling off into the water all the way down here. And... Um, I didn't have much hope for our, our property or our home. Who then, again, when we went and knocked on her door in the middle of the night, so to speak, um, and she took us in without, without a bat of an eye. Like, it was just this spirit that Canmore's known for. But again, even in the worst of times, it was at its best. The fellas saved the day. There's no two ways about it. Those guys who manned the equipment saved all of these houses on this side of the creek. Uh, of course, this was attached to our fence, and our fence was gone, including the sign. Uh, several days later, the um, lady next door said, I think I have something of yours here. And she explained that uh, one of the backhoe operators had been digging in the back, stopped this huge machine, got out of his cab, and uh, picked up her sign. <laughs> and I'm sure you've all seen pictures of it and video of it, but, but to stand here and to feel that freight train just rumbling by night and day and to see that creek slowly, slowly, slowly coming back and eroding the creek bed and endangering your house is, um, is something I never want to feel again. Six inches of driving rain, mud and trees falling down. Had to make a judgment call to try and save his town rock from his quarry and they piled it ten feet high turn the currents upward look that devil in the eye mama fetch a baby now there's water at the door head for higher ground hear that cougar 